week, we welcome President Trump from the United States, with whom the UK has a much heralded special relationship based on blowing things up. Naturally, we want the President to feel as welcome as possible, so I've prepared some shortbread and also this special bespoke guide to Britain. Obviously, President Trump, you and your Republican friends are already so knowledgeable about Britain. We've heard thrilling stuff from over the pond about London hospitals being like war zones and violent Muslim ghettos like Birmingham where non-Muslims are unable to travel. On the other hand, we also know Americans all think of Britain as being like a period drama. And the truth is, you're right, it's that too. But it is only these two things. Southern England, commonly called Downton Abbey, is where the Queen lives with her daughter Kira Knightley, Kira's cousin slash husband Colin Firth and their son Boris Johnson. Whilst the rest of the UK is entirely made up of Islamic no-go bolt holes crammed with machete-wielding imams. So my first tip in this guide to Britain is, Birmingham is a no-go Muslim area, no-go there. Fortunately, the President's news source of choice, indeed his only source of information other than the menu at Burger King, is the right-wing Fox News, so he already knows this essential information. Steve Emerson, terrorism expert, pointed out on Fox that Birmingham is a no-go area for non-Muslims. The Midlands is known to locals as the no-go Muslim death zone. It's awful. Look, the capital of the NGMDZ is a massive mosque called Birmingham. There are, however, some interesting bazaars selling strange ethnic goods, and you can make a pilgrimage to Mecca. The next tip in Trump's Guide to Britain is Central London is basically a war zone. In May, Trump made a rallying speech to the National Rifle Association where he recounted... I recently read a story that in London, which has unbelievably top gun laws, a once very prestigious hospital right in the middle, is like, like a, a war, war zone, zone for horrible stabbing wounds. There's, There's blood, blood all over the floors of this hospital. They, they say, say it's, it's as bad as, as a, a military, military war zone, war zone hospital. hospital. Knives, knives, knives. Knives, knives, knives. Knives, knives, knives. Knives, 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 knives. Now, Trump's point, if he can ever really be said to have one, is that even though Britain has tough gun laws, what's the point when knives, knives, knives do as much damage as guns? And you could say, yes, knives, knives, knives do hurt people, but could one man injure over 500 people with a knife? And gun advocates would say, what's the point limiting gun use when there are also other things that kill people? Uh, anything can be a knife, you know, toothbrush, shave it off at the end, you've got a serviceable shank, trust me. So you can't control knives effectively, but you can control guns a bit. It doesn't make sense to say we can't control all dangerous things, so we should control none of the dangerous things. Besides, only 64% of murders in the US are with guns. There's no point trying to stop a tiny fraction of murders like two thirds of them. What a waste of time. Now, you Republican types will respond that military grade assault rifles are not designed purely to kill lots of humans. Of course not, they have loads of practical uses, like air rating shoeboxes for when you're taking your gerbil to the vet, a spare leg for a lady's dressing table, hot drink stirrer, or directing strangers on a lonely highway to the nearest phone box, and of course, killing strangers on a lonely highway. Well, I hope this guide to understanding Britain has been helpful, President Trump. I'd like to wrap it up by letting you know that at the moment, what really unites the vast majority of British people in a shared sense of purpose and understanding is believing that you are a dangerously ignorant, bigoted, misogynistic, walking hazard sign, as I'm sure the beautiful people on the streets of this great nation are keenly demonstrating. Welcome to Great Britain, Mr. President. <laughs>